So this new CNC spoil board is going to be made out of 3 quarter inch MDF. As you see my old spoil board was held down with only 5 screws and was made of 5 8 MDF. This new board will also have repeatable holes cut into it in exact position so when I need to replace the board I can just run this CNC code again and create another spoil board. Okay, so over in Fusion 360, I've already loaded up my model, which is just my spoil board, which is 3 quarter of an inch MDF, 49 wide by 45 inches deep. I've added all of these cylinder cutouts where the recessed pocket screws are going to hold the board down to the CNC. So the first thing I do is go into Manufacture, formerly called CAM, and I'm going to do a new setup. I'm going to go over to my stock, and I'm going to say Fix Size. 0.75 thick, 49 by 45, perfect. I'm going to select the top, bottom left corner as my origin. X, Y, Z are correct. Okay, so we're going to go into 2D bore. I select my tool, it's going to be a quarter inch down cut bit. Geometry, I'm going to go ahead and select every single one of these in order that I want it to cut. Okay, now that that's selected, it looks like it wants to start at the top left and then end at the bottom right. I'm going to turn off Optimize Order so it goes back to the way I selected it. So there's my origin and it's now going to start at the bottom left as well, ending at the top right. Geometry, the bottom height is zero of the whole bottom, which is exactly what we want. All the other clearances are fine. Passes. What we're going to do here is, if you see, the helix down for this bore is, there's many, many steps and we don't need anything like that. It's only going down 40 thousandths of an inch. So we're going to change this to a quarter of an inch at a time. So every time down, it's going to go down a quarter of an inch. And that's going to speed things up a lot. And this rotor bit is more than capable of handling this. Everything else looks good. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to simulate and see how this looks. So this looks perfect. We'll go ahead and close this and let's go on to our next operation, which is 2D face. So I'm going to change the tool now to three quarter inch flat bit because this is the biggest bit I have for a quarter inch shank. Hit OK. Choose our geometry as the top. Our heights, we're going to change the bottom to negative 0.02, so we're going to cut away 20 thousandths across the entire face. Our passes, pass direction I'm going to change to 90 degrees, so it's working the Y and A axis motors at the same time doing this whole operation, and the X axis will have very little to do during this, just incrementally moving it across. Pass extension 0, step over is nearly the whole bit, that's good. Stock offset, the rest of this looks good. So let's go into linking. We are going to turn off lead in, lead outs, and the transition type, I don't want smooth. I don't want it to do a little semicircle around. I want it to be a straight line. I think the rest of this is good. Let's go ahead, hit OK, and see what we get. OK, this is perfect, except for the fact that it's starting in the top right. I want it to start at the bottom left. So let's say edit from other side. Okay. So now we're starting in the bottom left again, which is where our origin is. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and post process each of these individually as I'm going to need to switch the bit out in between these. Post process, go down, G28 off. Let's call this spoil board face, quarter inch, post, and let's go to the face, same thing, post process, G28 no, say spoil board, a three quarter inch face operation, post, and now we can run both these operations individually after changing the bits. Let's go ahead and do that now.
The reason facing the swell board surface is so important is that regardless of how out of parallel the CNC top is, the spoil board will now 100% be flat compared to the router bit. Next time it won't be so easy.